Hey, my queens, I'm here with another video. So I'm gonna be trying to recreate a look Black China did on her Instagram. I seen this picture and I went crazy. I was like, I have to recreate this. So the wig that I'm using is a wig from Premium Lace Wigs. It is one of their full lace wigs and it's full 613 color. I had to get my hands on it. Now the wig that I have is a little bit more on the yellow side than Black China's hair, but like I said, it's an inspired look. So it's definitely not gonna look exactly the same. Now now this is my first time doing a full lace 613 wig um, I have done full um, like full 613 wigs but not full lace so these are braids that I did do on this unit and I tried to mimic her style as best that I could I actually can't do underhanded braids so I just did some feed through braids and then I did like the little fishtail so right here, as you see, I'm just using some got to be gel and I'm doing that right in front of my actual hairline because I really don't like it to touch my hair at all. So I'm just adding some hairspray. A lot of people ask me what that hairspray is. Honestly, it's just a cheap hairspray that I got from Dollar Tree and it just literally says on the bottle hairspray. So yeah, and it's been working really, really well. So I'm just using the end of a rat tail comb to kind of make that um, lace adhere to my glue or to the gel and then yeah I had to cut a little bit on the sides because the wig didn't fit me exactly the way I needed it to especially for this look so I just had to cut on each side and then take my rat tail comb and kind of just adhere that lace to the actual gel. So now I'm just going to take my scarf and we're going to be almost done with the hair. We're going to come back to it later. So now that I'm here with the makeup, I'm just going to take this Santi Cosmetics Concealer from Shot Miss A, $1. And I'm just going to use that as a base for my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take this Nikka K 23 matte colors palette and I got this from my local beauty supply store. I absolutely love using just cheap makeup from dollar stores, you know, uh, Shop Miss A and my local beauty supply store as well. So you can look just as good with these type of products. So yeah, I'm just using like a brown like camel color, kind of similar to my natural skin tone just as a transition color and I'm just using that using windshield wiper motions with a blending brush right on top of my crease. And then I'm gonna use a kind of like a burnt red color. Um, it's, it's like a mixture of a pink and a red. It's hard to explain, but it's in that same palette and I'm gonna use that, a different blending brush. And I got this blending brush from Dollar Tree as well. And it's just an amazing blending brush. And I'm just using that windshield wiper motions in my crease. So right here, I'm just gonna take a like orangish red and I tried to get as close to what she had in the picture, but you know, you gotta deal with what you got. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this color right here and I'm just using that, a packing motion with a flat eyeshadow brush on my mobile lid. And you know, for these to be really inexpensive, I think the palette is maybe like $5.99, $6.99 for 23 colors. They really do a really good job. They're all matte and they're pretty pigmented for them to be as cheap as they are and they don't break me out either so i'm just really loving that So right here I'm just taking a highlighter by the J Cap brand and I got that from my local beauty supply store as well. I will leave the exact name of it in the description box because I can't remember it right off hand and I know I say that in a lot of my videos and I forget to do it but I'm definitely going to do it this time because you guys need to get your hands on this highlighter. It's bomb. 
So now I'm just gonna take my favorite drugstore foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 335. And yeah, I probably will go up a shade just because I am getting a tan. It's been super hot and sunny out here in Ohio. So yeah, I have been, I do have a tan, so it is a little light for me now. So yeah, but I'm gonna work with what I got for right now. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a beauty sponge. Now I'm going to take this AOA Studios HD Concealer in Warm Honey and I'm going to use that to highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And then I'm going to add over top of the Warm Honey under my eyes, I'm going to use Bisque in the same brand and you can find those on shopmissday.com. And I'm just blending everything together with my beauty sponge and then I'm just going to set that with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now I'm using my Anastasia Contour Palette in Tan to Deep and I'm gonna just chisel my face out. Get my jawline and my nose, just kinda narrow that out just a little. Blush from my Sanky Cosmetics from Shop Miss Day and then I'm gonna take a mineralized skin finish from MAC in Soft and Gentle and also Gold Deposit. So I put Gold Deposit on first and then I finished up with Soft and Gentle and then later on we're gonna go in with that J Cap. And right here, I'm just putting on some uh, Silk Assign by L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner. Then I'm gonna go in with that J Cat's highlighter for my inner tear ducts, just to bring some light to that. Then I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay uh, Perversion Eye Mascara, and I'm gonna do my upper lashes and lower lashes. I will leave the lashes that I used in this look. They're kind of more natural on the more natural side than what I usually use. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with a brown lip liner and this is Brownie by NYX. And I'm gonna go in with this lippy, I totally forget, I did get this off of wish.com. So I don't remember the exact name, but I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, spray my face down and take some more of that J Cat highlighter and just go in because her picture was like super highlighted. So I'm scared about the wig, but OMG, it looks like I have a mask on. So I'm gonna just take some of my foundation and get under where that scarf was at. Um, now this portion, I was so upset because like you, when you do these 613 wigs and I've seen other YouTubers do like full 613 wigs and I always look like how do they get makeup in their wig but now I know it's a sh extreme struggle not to get your foundation or whatever you're using on your 613 hair because everything shows up because the hair is pretty much white so I'm just cutting some baby hairs in there I know the hair is not super perfect or whatever so don't come for me in the comments but this is just an inspired look I was totally inspired by her look and I absolutely love it so yeah let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if you guys want to see more celebrity inspired looks let me know and I will see you queens in my next video don't forget to subscribe and follow me on snap and instagram I love you guys Deuces.